Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I will going to show you how to replace our expired access tokens. So uh, if our expired access token will be expired, always it will ask us you to enter your username and password, how to uh, solve that problem, I will show you now. Let's go. So here, just let me go to into my GitHub account. So. And my repository just create I think one new repository let me get it so here just update the access so I wanna to push something into this so, so let me clone this repository or copy this path then let me clone it um, and just let me print my current working directory. I am in uh, home bakery desktop, so let me clone it. Hit clone, or I can just make another directory here in the desktop just uh, to show. So mkdir. So let me say it just, or you can simply just clone it in the desktop. I will test it. Git clone. Then here I will paste that link. So I'll enter. Yes, it is cloning. Warning: You are appearing to have cloned an empty directory. So let me list this. Make easy. So here it is my repo. So I clone it successfully. So let me navigate to this repository update search token so let me list the file here nothing is here oh so let me long list here the hidden file will be displayed with this command so here i have to git directory so this is a directory all these files are just directory so let me navigate to this directory dot git let me list here so here Oh, I wanna to configure this file list. So how did I do that? Let me out from this directory. So let me create one file in this repository. Just that file name will be let me just uh, then or let me create just a very then hello file. Then let me start one day in the brand print I load load. Oh. <laughs> okay, here it is. Just let me add some print. Just let me make it just file and file. Print uh, just. I think it's a lower letter. So let me make it executable. So uh, let me include. Yours are in then I'm using five and three. So let me say ten days this let me make it executable. Then owner should execute this file here you plus x so my file name okay first of all let me replace that hello dot mv hello to hello dot py <laughs> this is I have to make this file as a file file so let me execute this u plus x then hello dopi enter control l ls hello dopi so let me run it yeah i get a lot of printed here so let me push it into my github as i git add hello dot py it commit minus same hello world file yeah hello. let me push it it push it asks me username and password so always while you are pushing anything if your access token is expired it will ask you so today we are going to solve that problem here just uh, 
I just want to do it in that just picky. I think this is it. Let me check. Okay, my username. Okay, picky Yerum. So uh, my username get Yerum. Then my password. Then my password. Yeah, it says remote please see the, the support for password authentication was the removed of the service you are given on so it does not support just password authentication it needs a serial access token so what you have to do is here just we have to create a, a new access token yeah so how do we create that access token here can navigate to just uh, our profile I'm in github so let me get up that come here is my profile go to your profile then setting then navigate to just at the end of your screen so developer setting option so go to personal access tokens and token classic here your access token is expired as you see here just say to invert you need it you need it home so I wanna to revoke this so say uh, press revoke all yeah enter your username just your username is just pick your own so understand in revoke so generate a new classic token I just wanna click seek so this is just um, let me give one name so repo So can update this name. So I give this privileges. So I go on to the end and create generate token. So my token is generated. So let me copy it. After copying it, I'll go to my terminal and just I will go to my repo. In my repo file, there will be some one file called .git directory. That is, let me show you ls uh, minus la. Here, as you see, I have dot kit directory, so I will now get to that dot hit. So, let me clear my screen and long list again what is there in the dot kit directory. So, here I have this file in this directory, so I need these files. So this is a file, so I open it in any editor. It may be Emacs, Vim, or VI, or any other editor. So I use just VI, so config. So I will go to insert mode by pressing I, then I will navigate to line number 7. And after the forward slash, I will paste by pressing Control V or right click, then paste. Then after this, I add at symbol, so at GitHub. So the only thing that I add here is just I copy my access tokens from here. Then I come to next to this double forward slash and I paste that. Then at the end of this access token, I add at symbol this is all so now i will press escape and just save it here now control a let me check my git status i was just add and commit one file but i, I can't push that let me see that work this operator must be run in a work tree so i made a mistake I'm um, in the dog git folder so I've taught from this cd dot now let me get status yeah on branch master your branch is be Donald master but upstream is gone yeah, just use git branch and see upstream to fix up nothing to commit work it really clean so nothing is there so let me get hard that Lorelet file, yeah, it had 
lower drop your eye so it commits trial created then let me enter so let me git push so now it is pushing yeah well done <laughs> good job so it's working so let me check my git repository so here there should be just one file yeah here update access repo yeah hello to the pi file is here so this is how you update just your expired access token so thank you for watching this video if you are new to this channel please like and subscribe and share for your friends thank you